And now, before we talk about another thing, very quickly, uh, Daniel Radcliffe, time traveller. We've had this on the show before. Right, yes. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with this. Uh, time, yes. Daniel Radcliffe, time traveller. This is the collection so far. Right. Daniel Radcliffe. Not <laughs> <laughs> uh, all, me. Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> lady from the past. <laughs> and this is my favourite one, yeah. Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> Yeah, that's I, I look like a lot of old women in yes, the past. But it's very rarely men or boys. About two days ago, <laughs> about two days ago, someone found another one. Oh, good. Uh, this is uh, <laughs> this is a young lady in 1922. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is just, it's, I, I don't. These are all my past lives, and I was <laughs> like a, a, a sort of a slightly a depressed lady in yeah. a lot of them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you think you've spotted Daniel Radcliffe in a former life, uh, do get it on. But uh, viewers won't uh, let it go. The <laughs> Daniel Radcliffe uh, time traveller yes. thing. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And now, it is, it is bizarre. So now, so there's all the old ones we used to have. Not I think that was the first one we ever no. showed. There's a thing, there's a thing that happens when I come on this show where that people sort of uh, dredge the internet and f have found photographs of. of People that look like me throughout time, and it turns out there's a lot of them. Oh, and a lot of them that's, are that's quite a good one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that's yeah. uh, that one's that oh, one's uncanny. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, some of them. These, that's, these are previous that's rubbish. Ones we've had, right? That's well, that's quite. That, actually, that I is think, quite good, I suppose. I see. Yes, that's good. That's, that's quite good. Fantastic. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Oh look, there you are as a nun. <laughs> <laughs> Getting less like me and just no, no, no. with like a this, of glass. This is still one of my favourites because you look so happy in this one. <laughs> I think this was this was when you were time travelling. Yeah. You hit a really good bit of your good life era. here. There you go. I think you were in love. Oh, that, that leg. <laughs> <laughs> We've got some new ones. We've got like some new ones. Members of my family. Now, weirdly, but, yeah. we found one of you. <laughs> I think you're married to Robson Jerome. Oh, oh, do you don't look happy? Oh, you don't look happy. <laughs> that's a bad, that's a bad body. body of your life. Oh, that's a what the? <laughs> <laughs> This one is good. We this are. is again another very, very jolly bit of his life. Dan is really loving life here. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Thing. You can do the dead eye thing, can't yes, you? Yes, the dead eye thing was a thing I thought everybody could do, where I just sort of make one of my eyes go like a bit lazy oh, yeah, and weird. Yeah, yeah. I thought, yeah. 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 see, yeah. some people, some yeah. other people yeah. can do it. You're doing something. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's effective. I don't know what. Yeah, but so yeah, I just now like, I'm as soon as I, kinda, I don't know if I can do it. I, I think I've got a slightly lazier anyway, and so I just did that, and then it just it just makes me look very dead on screen. And as soon as and and they put all the other makeup on and stuff, and when I saw that, it was like, okay, I don't have to worry about. Playing dead, I, I look really, really dead. But they made a dead Daniel. Yes, they did make a dead me. I had dead me's made before, but this was the one that got put through the ringer like a lot. But Paul Dano wanted me on his back most of the time. He got very strong. I bet he did. Around. Yeah. And uh, dead Daniel, much excitement because dead Daniel's here. Oh, we call him, we call him yes, he is. Yeah. He's, he's right oh, here. Is here is dead Daniel. He was there the whole time. <laughs> It's like it's weird because it's, it's like really... it's like he's it's like he's dead. It's like he's dead. Pop Don't him. put it next to me, please. No, no, no. You no. Will he sit up? Not really. <laughs> so yeah. Um, <laughs> touch, is, touch, his hand, touch his hand. No, touch his hand. Touch his hand. It's so creepy. No. Yeah, that's uh, that's weird. Uh, come on, dude. <laughs> <laughs> He's, he really is sort of falling apart at this point, but he's been sent down rivers. He got mauled by a bear. Like this was all things we did to him during filming. It's and like, really good though. Look at the look at the look at the, the, the eyebrows yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just. It's strangely horrible. I don't know. I don't know what's happening to it at the end of the press tour. So if anybody, you know, wants Actually. it. <laughs> Maybe not. No, Given your enthusiasm, I feel like maybe you should not have this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he will look worse. <laughs> um, yeah, but yeah, so um, much, yeah, much. Based on that reaction, there's no telling what type of uh, experience Dead Daniel could have. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Shall I, shall I leave him here or shall I put him back? You leave him there for a bit. Okay, cool. You leave tell me when bit. you want him gone. I mean, it's quite disconcerting because he is sort of staring at me. <laughs> I like... There, we there go. you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we know 
Daniel Radcliffe, you have a reputation of being lovely to fans, you very sweet, you give your time very freely to them. But I read with interest that you are starting to toughen up now. You're being a little more discerning with your fans. Um... <laughs> Daniel? What do, you mean, what, what do you mean? Well, <laughs> wasn't there... Like, you were being generally nice, but you were the friend, and she kind of went, you know oh, that... Oh, yes, right, yeah. well, yeah. Well, cos I... Yeah. I think when, when you, like, start acting at a young age, people expect you to be a, a total dick all the time, and that's the kind of the expectation that you sort of always find yourself coming up against. Yeah. And, and so I think all my life I've, like, been really, like, worked hard to not be that and to be, like, as, as far away from that as possible, but that has sort of sometimes meant that, like, someone... You can be really rude to me, <laughs> kind of, and I'll just be like, yeah, fine. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like I won't really, like, notice that you've been rude. And uh, sometimes, like, people will come up... And, mo like, 99% of the time, when people come up to you and ask you for something on the street, they are really very nice. And then just occasionally, like, someone will come up and I, I said... Somebody said... Can I get a picture with you? And I, I just, you know, just saying words, not meaning anything by it. I just said, yeah, yeah, of course, if you want to. And she just went, well, I wouldn't have asked if I didn't want to. <laughs> and I was like, and of course I was like, oh, no, of course you wouldn't have. Silly of me. Go up here. And, um, and, and then, like, she left and my girlfriend was with me. She was like, that girl was a dick to you. <laughs> like, you don't need to, like, you need... So she's given me, like, a little bit of sense of, uh... Like, you can judge that. Not that I'm, like, a dick back now or anything. No, but I just don't... You but know. you don't need to be that. But, yeah. but apparently, Rupert Grint's even worse than you. Rupert... I don't know the details of this at all, but Rupert ended up at somebody's house one night <laughs> just from, like, continuing to I say know. yes to things. <laughs> and you want to do Everyone's like, yeah, yeah, We've yeah, all yeah, been sure. there. Like, been yeah. <laughs> Again, I feel bad saying this because I feel like someone's going to take advantage of that and just, like, ask him to, you know, he's going to be, like, the new Manchurian candidate or something. <laughs> <laughs> because sometimes people come up to you and they don't mean to be rude, but they yeah. can be quite rude, can't they? Oh, yeah. I had, um, I had at the premiere of... Was it Suffragette? My wife's just been in a film. And, uh, and I thought, if anybody calls out my name, I'll go and sign autographs. And as it happened, a few people signed did and I did that. And so this woman was screaming, screaming, screaming. She was, James, 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 say my thing, say my thing, say my thing. And, uh, and I came over and she went, oh, thank you. I'm a really big fan of some of your work. <laughs> <laughs> I think, yeah, thank you. I'll sign some of your posters. <laughs> um, but that was kind of, that was a weird... And people are trying to be nice, they're trying to be... You know, I think be sometimes as well there's a thing that people do where they like... And, I, and it is very particular, to, particularly like young men with me want to do a thing where they want me to know that they don't give a shit about me <laughs> like before they start asking for something. So they'll be like, didn't really like the Harry Potter movies, but can you sign this? And I was like, don't, like, don't do that. Just say, some, say a nice thing. <laughs> it's so easy. I had one. I had one happen really recently at a fancy dress party where, um, uh, and this is weird, right? Uh, do you know that thing where uh, some people make a list of oh, people, famous people that they're allowed to have sex with if they meet them? Oh, the free pass. The free, the free pass. pass, right? Yeah. She called it an allowance. Um, <laughs> uh, and I was like, what, like pocket money? Yeah. Uh, how are you going to spend me? Um, uh, and so uh, I met her and her fella, and, and then she came up and said, uh, afterwards, she went, so you're my allowance. And I was like, I beg you, uh, excuse me. <laughs> and uh, she went, you, you know, he's cool with it and you're my thing. And I was like, uh... <laughs> right. He's not cool with it, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, that's a whole other story. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, and, uh, and I was really sort of, like, taken aback by it. And, and I was like, I'm married and thank you very much. It's very, very nice of you. And then she said this thing that was, like, it was meant as a compliment. And she was trying to get me to do stuff, but it was still really backhanded. And she went, because, you know, a lot of girls would be after somebody like Channing Tatum. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, do you know what? You're not getting it. <laughs> I know that. Achievable goals. <laughs> I heard you talking on a show where you met Donald Trump. Yes. But not I particularly because you wanted to. No, I was... Uh, I was like, oh, my God, I just... I love real estate. I have to go meet him when I was really young. <laughs> um, no, I was, like... I was, I was um, like, 11 or 12, and I was going... It was when we were doing press for the first Potter movie, and we, they took us to New York, and it was the first time doing sort of the morning shows in New York. Um, and I was about to go on the Today Show. I've never been on sort of American sort of morning TV before, and I was quite nervous. And uh, Donald Trump was also... had also been on that day. And so they, that's Donald Trump, for those of you who have blissfully... <laughs> 
forgotten what he looked like. <laughs> <laughs> but he um, then they sort of walked me over to him because clearly they were like, you know, somebody said, hey, you want to meet the kid who plays Harry Potter? And he was like, sure. I don't know. <laughs> Conversation went. But they, uh, they sort of walked me over to him and he said, oh, hi, nice to meet you. And I said, nice to meet you. And I said, he said, how are you? And I said, I'm, oh, I'm really, I'm quite nervous. I, I, I've never been on TV before. I don't really, I don't know what I'm going to talk about. And he brilliantly just said, you just tell them you met Mr. Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Is the, that is the Everest of self-confidence. Like, like, imagine if I'd just been to you, like, when you go on that show, just talk about me. Like, don't talk about your stuff. Just, just look like, at the two Americans and we're both just like... Like, sad. Yeah, oh. then, then you're really sad. And and I, yeah, I know, you're all laughing. And also the yeah. problem... This, but also, this is kind of the Funny problem. Because you do end up talking about him. Yeah. And, you know, we, we should be talking about the other people. Because yeah. I know you're... Well, you're... I mean, the beauty of the whole thing is you have to, because he, he just doesn't talk about himself. You feel like you have yeah, to. You've got <laughs> it. You've got yeah. Someone promote this yeah, guy. Exactly. <laughs> Presumably, you are familiar with uh, Miriam's potty mouth because, uh, or, or did, well, are you? Because I, you, were, you were in Harry Potter, but did you actually work together? Yeah, yes, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, we did. But I don't remember. I've been told there was a swear jar involved on set, but I, I can't remember that. I don't. You remember you swearing a lot in front of? I was I probably think... careful when it was you, okay. but when, you know, with the other kids, I didn't bother. <laughs> Just talking backstage, if that's what you call that funny little grub right, grubby area. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently it's 20 years since Harry Potter came out. So, the, since we started filming the, the first, the first one. one. And your yeah. balls have dropped since then, <laughs> I can tell you that. It's, uh, it's a relief to us all. <laughs> So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because they're just wee kids, then. We get it, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. It's just, yeah. But, but it's interesting because for Professor Sprouse, which, you know, you were in the second film and the last film. Yeah, right? I should have been in all of them. Yes. And that was a brave oversight, and I I'm holding them. you responsible. I told them. <laughs> but anyway, it was wonderful to be in the two that I was in, yeah. and I'm very proud of it. But you do get recognised as Professor Sprouse. I do. I, I mean, I think I've changed since then, but... People do recognise me, and uh, funnily enough, in Lithuania, <laughs> I was. I'm, Lithuania. Are you, <laughs> are you, uh, have you come just to see Professor Sprout? <laughs> I don't think so. Are the films called Professor Sprout and the Deathly Hallows? No, but I was mobbed in Lithuania. Maybe because I was Jewish. I don't know. I'm the only one there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Stop cheering now. <laughs> I just think that's incredible. Like, you're being mobbed in Lithuania and you were Professor Sprout. Imagine being this bad. I know. What, what was it like? I mean, it, it, there, it's weird and funny, and I think I, the best way to see it always was, like, weird and funny, because yeah. it will, it, you know, and it ebbs and flows, and sometimes it's in your life a lot, and sometimes it's not in terms of getting recognised, and there's been lots of very odd moments. I was chased out of a science museum in Spain, um, and I was just like... <laughs> but it was sort of fine, because everything was in Spanish there, and I couldn't understand anything inside, so it was time to leave anyway. <laughs> yes. Um, and then, uh, so but, yeah. You got re but someone thought you were something else in New York recently. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what? Actually, this didn't. This did not come up in in. With it. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> I did recently. So me and my girlfriend fostered a dog, uh, and, and it's, it, we sort of got our friends to adopt it. This is not necessary for the story. There's a dog with me. Um, <laughs> I I, we, I was on the street with this dog, and my, my girlfriend was in the shop, and so I was. And it was very cold. And I got my hoodie and my fleece, uh, my fleece hoodie, and then a big coat over that. And the dog was really cold, so I was like, oh, I'll just kneel by you and like stroke you and like try and keep you warm. And then. And, uh, and then I saw this guy like look up at me like ten yards away and smile, and I was like, yeah, and just carried on. <laughs> and then he walked past me and he came back uh, like he got about five steps past me, and then just reappeared with a five dollar bill over my shoulder and just went, get yourself a coffee, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really like my girlfriend came out and I was like, I don't think I'm I'm like I'm wearing nice clothes, I thought like, <laughs> like, like I don't know. Yeah, so I was I was very much I, 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 I that was a wake up call. Apparently I have to maybe, you know, like, was, don't, was your dog you don't on a string? <laughs> no. I do maintain because the person that owns the dog has also been mistaken for a homeless person with this dog. Oh. I think the dog just looks very cold and sweet and vulnerable. Don't blame the dog. And, no, I know. <laughs>